Yo, what up guys? This is Rufio. Uh, so, I'm making another video, just because I made one yesterday, and because I, I have an iPhone, so it's easy to make videos. They're not like good quality or anything, but... Um, so all this morning and all uh, this afternoon, I was getting messages and uh, like responses to my video that I did yesterday, and that's really cool. Like. A lot of them made me feel better. I mean, all of them made me feel, like, super good, and, like, it showed that there are people that, like, think about whatever is going on in my life, and, like, you guys do care, but you guys are still miles away, and I can't hang out with you, and that sucks. But thanks for all the response. That, that's awesome. Uh, I'll respond to some of the... the comments on my video uh one comment was do like i should try to move and get out of uh, the situation with my ex-girlfriend or whatever but the thing is is we've been broken up for like almost a year now and i want to live with her like she's my best friend I, she's perfect to live with we have custody of the dog so they're always together and She's probably the only person that doesn't care how I live at all because the house is always clean. It smells like weed constantly. And I have dogs, you know. Like, I don't think I could find another person that would want to live with me that we would be as comfortable with. Like, I can, you know, walk around naked and not give a shit what she thinks because she's not into me and I'm not into her. And, like, we've never had any problems up until, you know, her getting this girlfriend now. And, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. I just, I'm just so angry about it still. And it's not, it has nothing to do with me liking her. It's the fact that I think it's just, like, what if she wants to U-Haul, like, you know, lesbians do? Like, what if she wants to move in with this chick in six months or what if she wants this chick to move in here in six months and I do not want her living here like I don't like that's mean to say and whatnot but I don't want her living here because I don't really want to hang out with her 24 7 she's not you know that like I have no problem with hanging out with her you know every now and then but 24 7 I can't stand her attitude to do that no way and I love my ex. Like, I love her to death. She's my best friend in the entire world. Like, I truly thought that she would be able to move to Colorado with me whenever I get the money to move there. But, I don't know. Like, she'll... I don't know if she's going to or not. Like, she has a girlfriend. And I think her getting a girlfriend just, like... It scares me. Like, I'm scared that... I'm not going to be able to hang out with anybody because now, you know, she has a girlfriend. And it scares me because she's had, like, three girlfriends. Or, like, not girlfriends, but, like, people that she's dated since me. And I've had no one. Like, no one. So that, like, scares me, you know? It scares me the fact that my best friend is, you know, not going to be alone with me. <laughs> I mean, that's, like greedy and like not nice to say but I mean that's how it comes out to me um what other responses oh okay I do have friends at work I'm friends with almost all the guys at work and almost all the girls but when I was a kid I had school friends and then I had friends that I hung out with outside of school and for some reason, my entire life, I've had work friends, and then I've had people I hang out outside of work. I don't know why that is, but that's just how I've been for a long time. Like, I work, I, I hang out with people, like, maybe five people from work, but we don't really have that many things in common. Like, the only things we have in common is that we work together and we smoke weed. And, like, we watch, like, certain TV shows. But, like, they don't 
like to work out and all they know all they talk about is music and like I love music and stuff but I'm not into it the way they are so I don't really know you know it it kind of gets awkward and boring hanging out with them outside of work because we don't really have anything to talk about but yeah um this is my new puppy Mika she's going crazy she's so hyper i have to like constantly constantly get on to her but she's supposedly weimaraner or what however you say it and uh they're supposedly really hyper dogs but see like that blows my mind because uh my coach had two and she had a deaf husband and their dogs weren't hyper at all they could just sign to them and they would do it like they would sit and they'd lay down and they would go get things, you know, just by being told by sign language, which was really cool. That was random. Stone thought. Um, thank God for weed, because it, it seems to cheer me up in these lonely moments, too. But, um, I don't know what to say other than thank you guys a lot for uh, all your responses and everything. And... It's good to know that there are a lot of y'all that are experiencing the whole becoming an average Joe kind of person, you know. Becoming an average guy is hard. And uh, thank you guys for saying that I'm handsome or good looking or whatever. And I'll find the right girl. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully soon. Um, but until then. I'm going to have to listen to my music super, super loud so I don't hear them having sex so I don't kill myself. Uh, but anyways, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Deuces. Thanks.